Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, looking at rigging and widgets and wonders inside Motion 5. There's a lot of interesting controls that we can create in a motion project that we can send over to Final Cut, because effects in Final Cut are really motion projects, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's webinar. By the way, all our online video tutorials and webinars and many of our Final Cut 10 training are now available via subscription. This is a great way to access all of our online training. For one low monthly price, you get streaming access anytime, anywhere via the Internet. You can learn more at LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This session picks up where our Intro to Motion 5 webinar left off. I want to show you how to publish settings from Motion into Final Cut Pro 10, explain widgets and rigging, show how to use rigging and widgets in Motion 5 to create adjustable effects for Final Cut Pro 10, and show you how to keyframe parameters to animate effects within Final Cut. All generators, titles, transitions, and effects in Final Cut Pro 10 are various forms of motion projects. Widgets and rigging allow you to create customized motion projects move them to Final Cut Pro 10 and provide controls that allow you to adjust the effect in Final Cut 10 without having to return the effect to motion to make changes. These tools allow us to use motion to create visual effects but not audio effects and that's because motion provides containers for video that can be shared between motion and Final Cut but it doesn't provide containers for audio. The definition of publish means to send the controls for a specific parameter from Motion to Final Cut Pro 10. This sends the entire contents of the control. A widget, on the other hand, has three different states. There's a checkbox, a pop-up menu, or a slider to which parameters and custom settings can be attached. A widget can control a single parameter or multiple parameters, and I'll show this in detail over today's session. A snapshot is a set of parameter values that are applied to each state of a widget. A widget is the control, the snapshot is the settings that go into the control. Multiple snapshots can be applied to the same widget. And a rig is a container for widgets. A widget is a single checkbox, pop-up menu or slider, which has settings determined by snapshots and all the widgets together are collected inside a rig. So let's start with a demo and show you what publishing is. I'm going to create a generator. In this case, it'll be a solid color circle. Then I'll publish the color control and show you how this works inside Final Cut. Then we'll send this back to motion and make changes. We'll add a, another control. We'll publish the scale control. So let me show you how this works. This is the template browser for motion and we have five choices. We can create a vanilla flavor motion project or a Final Cut effect, a Final Cut generator, a Final Cut transition, or Final Cut title. So let's create a new project. Let's just double click on Final Cut generator and it opens up a new motion project. Because I created a generator, it gives me an open and empty project. So let's create something really simple. We're going to create a, a green circle. So we'll go down to the shape control, hold the mouse button down, and I'm going to select the circle shape. And I'm going to select our circle command and start to drag. If I hold the option key down, it drags from the center. And if I hold shift key down, it constrains the circle so it's a perfect circle. And we'll create something about that size. Go to our arrow tool here and drag it down so it fits inside the frame and use the guides to align it so it's perfectly centered. I've now created a green circle. If I take this green circle and I go up to File and I say Save As, because I haven't given it a name, I'll say Save As. What am I going to call it? I'm going to call it a green circle. And I'm going to store it in the category called Webinars, which is a category that I created. And a theme allows me to create a subcategory within the category. But in my particular case, I don't need that level of organization, so I'll just store it in the webinar category. Publish means it's going to make this generator available to Final Cut Pro 10. And click Publish. Now let's start Final Cut. And we'll open the generator window. And there's our webinars. There's the green circle. I'll just drag it on here, edit it to the end of the timeline, 
and ta-da, I have created an effect inside Motion that now shows up inside Final Cut, and it shows up inside the generator browser. This is really cool, except if I go to the inspector and I highlight the clip, notice the generator tab is lit, I can't change the color. I can't change the size. It's just sort of sitting there. <sighs> So what we got to do is we got to go back to motion.